our first speaker, Ruth Ritzel, Reitzel, is a senior research scientist and a project manager at UTMD MD Anderson Cancer Center. Though she had an informal introduction to Toastmasters many years ago through a high school program, she sought out Toastmasters group and joined Mary just a month ago in uh, December 2019. So tonight, Ruth will be sharing her very first speech, which is the icebreaker to the group. I'm not going to tell you any more about her because I don't want to ruin the surprise or spoil it for Ruth. So let's welcome Ruth Reitzel, giving her very first Toastmaster speech ever, Project. and a lie. Probably most of people have done that. So I have four different things about me on there that are three truths and a lie. Three of them are true. One of them is almost true. <laughs> so let's see which ones they are. I am a doctor. I have a PhD. I'm a competitive weightlifter. I compete in strongman competitions and powerlifting competitions. And I rebuilt my entire staircase myself. Wow. I'm not a beekeeper yet, but I do have gardening. I do garden and I have chickens in my backyard. But what do these have in common? They're all projects. So tonight I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. And I'm sorry. Yeah. So good evening, Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about myself and why I'm pretty sure that I've been a project manager most of my life. And it pretty much started with a birdhouse. It is serendipitous that the, the word of the day is empower, because that's what my parents did to me when I was a kid. They empowered me. They empowered me to be a problem solver. They empowered me to be a planner. They empowered me to be a creative thinker, and to empower me to make a difference. And this is kind of values that I've come with my entire life. But let's get back to the birdhouse. So without knowing it, the birdhouse was one of the first projects that I've ever done. But this was no birdhouse. This was a fancy birdhouse. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of it because it's at a parent's house still, but it was a fancy birdhouse, complete with cedar siding and cedar-shaped shingles. <laughs> it was pretty. Why was it a project? We, what, the first part, the fancy birdhouse, coming up with the idea and pitching it to my dad and talking to him, telling him, this is what I want to do. That was initiating. He made me, we worked together, we drew a plan, drew up dimensions, talked about what was going to go on, uh, talked about what resources I needed. That was planning. We built the birdhouse. Got the, he helped me get the tools, I sanded everything down, cut things together, glued it together. That was executing. Along the way, we monitored and controlled the birdhouse to see what was going if we are on the right track and if we had a problem things wouldn't fit. Finally, closing the project, I gave it to my grandmother. This, to this day, this birdhouse is at my parents' house. Other projects, this kind of led down a road of lots of projects throughout my entire life, some of which you've seen here. We talked about them. I remodeled my entire staircase. I'm actually pretty proud of that one. Um, I have gardening. I have chickens in my garden. I have my really fancy puppy chicken. I am a competitive weightlifter. I plan and I prep, practice and I prep for meat for meats. That's another project. I'm also a beekeeper. I'm actually, I'm sorry, I'm not a beekeeper, but that's still in the planning process. I'm actually going to be beekeeper school in March. So. How does this relate to my professional, uh, my professional projects? I kind of fell into the project management role. Uh, it impaired me to create solutions that impact the lives of our patients. My biggest project, professionally and somewhat personally, was I have a PhD. Uh, there was lots of monitoring and controlling in that one. Not only on the experiments, but in my dissertation. That is a 200 page dissertation. <laughs> it had a lot of edits, so it was monitoring and controlled a lot. Since then, well, during that time, I've also spent 14 years working for Indy Anderson. 
And as um, Melissa said, I'm a senior research scientist and also a project manager. I, what I do daily is I come back and treat and develop treatments and preventions for infections in cancer patients. I love it. It's the greatest thing I do it professionally. Um, I basically see projects going from the bench to clinical trials through the FDA and into patients making impact in, in a patient's lives in the clinic. It's a great thing. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of planning and overseeing and seeing, talking to different people. Currently I'm working on multiple projects. I have a phase three clinical trial, which those of you who don't know much about uh, the healthcare industry, a phase, a phase three clinical trial is one of the last things that's done before it can get approved to move into the clinic. We're also planning another phase three trial for one of the projects I've been developing. And one of the things that I'm really excited about in the third quarter of this year is we should have an approval submission to the FDA for one of our devices. And hopefully it'll be approved and be able to be out in the market by the end of this year. That is, that is empowering. It's empowering to know that my, the thing, the pieces, little pieces of plastic that I work on will ultimately go to impact our patient lives. Ultimately, I want to transition into pharmaceutical and medical device industry. They, it's, it basically would have a bigger impact because it would not only be just in my little population, but to entire markets that will have lots more people that can impact and make a difference. That kind of brings me to why I wanted to join Twix and Toastmasters. I speak a lot. I speak for collaborators, I speak with conferences, and I speak to regulatory agencies like the FDA. I really want to improve my speaking skills and cl uh, to clearly convey what I'm saying, and especially to diverse audiences that have different skill levels. One of the things I really found is the FDA doesn't, they're regulators. They don't always have the technical skills that the people working on the projects do. It's interesting. So I've only been here for a month, but I'm really grateful for what I've learned so far. I've learned things from people at every single meeting, and I'm really, really thankful for that. In closing, you guys got a little glimpse of what I am, who I am, and why I've been a project manager pretty much since I was a kid. The other night I was scrolling through Facebook and came across one of these surveys that said, ask your spouse's question and see what they say. The question was, what do you think I what do you think I do when you're not here? My husband's answer? I don't know. Project. <laughs>